Okay, so somebody is being catfish, and I just want to throw this out there. There is no, if you think that you're communicating with me on any social media platform, you are not communicating with me, okay? I don't have a Facebook. I don't have an Instagram. I don't have a Twitter. I don't have a TikTok even. The only thing I got is YouTube. This channel and I be knowing tarot, okay? And my email address. I only have two email addresses, so... You know, if you ain't getting no correspondence from either one of those emails from me, you're not talking to me, okay? Felt the need to say that. But somebody is being catfished. So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this? I do hope everyone is doing good at this time. That you are protecting your energy coming into this full moon that's coming up here. People already been at it for the new moon, Holy Spirit, but please, we just ask for your continued protection during this upcoming full moon. But what do you want us to know about this catfish energy, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. One more shuffle, you guys. Thank you so much for your patience and everything you do to keep this channel rolling. Let's go. We have the tower. We have the tower. Someone thinks that they're about to have a passionate new beginning with another, but they are sorely mistaken. They are being catfished, and it's going to be a major tower when they find out that who they think they've been talking to, who they think they're about to have a future with, with this Ten of Cups, that's not this person. We have an emperor. I feel like it's an emperor who has been being catfished. Aries is out here three times out of four cards. This emperor thinks that they've been talking to somebody that they have not been talking to and that they are going to hook up with this person soon based off of this correspondence that they've been having. But they ain't been having it with who they think they've been having it with. And when they find out who they really been talking to, they're going to be very upset, okay? Because who they want to talk to is this queen of wands who they think that they are corresponding with and that they're going to have a success with and a relationship with is this queen of wands. But that's not who they've been talking to, okay? So this emperor is going to be in for a rude awakening because they are de most definitely being catfish and it's cancer out here twice. Back to back with this three of cups and this two of cups. Is this a cancer who is catfishing this emperor? Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the knight of swords, child. It may possibly be a cancer who is catfishing this Aries emperor energy, taking this action. Okay? And... This, this cancer is angry. They may also have Gemini in their chart. Here go Gemini again, back to back. With this magician energy here, they're taking this action because they're angry about something. They're pretending to be this queen of wands. Okay? Because they're upset with something regarding this, this emperor. What happened between this Cancer slash Gemini in this Aries, Holy Spirit, this emperor. We have the will of fortune. You must accept the action of the forces of destiny and align yourself with their aims. Okay. Changing circumstances, usually for the better, will promote your growth and advancement. So this, this emperor elevated his ass right away from this Cancer Gemini energy. Okay. That's what's happening. And he changed his life for the better. The will of fortune is in his favor. It's falling right up underneath this Ten of Cups. But he going down the wrong road with this communication that he's participating in. Because I feel like there's some red flags with this Knight of Swords to the Magician it's something that should let him know that he's not really talking to this Queen of Wands, okay? 
how is this knight of swords energy, magician energy getting over on this emperor we have the sun she real confident with it she's promised this man that he's going to have a rebirth with you okay whoever you are queen of wands whoever she's pretending to be she's promised this man that y'all gonna get together like i was picking up he think he is going to have a rebirth with a queen of wands somebody he feels like is his spiritual match but it's not that's not who he's talking to she may be a leo we have the seven of swords but it's then came out here in reverse so what i'm getting is with this seven of swords in reverse right up underneath this nine of swords Things are going to pop off real fast when he realized that he'd been being catfish. Who is this Cancer Gemini to this Aries, Holy Spirit? We have the lovers, another Gemini. They energy strong. Gemini, y'all energy strong. I hear chai. With the um two of pentacles, somebody that wanted to be his ideal love choice. Somebody that I feel like at one point he did make his ideal love choice, okay? But things didn't go how they wanted it to go. You know, them waters was choppy. I feel like emotions changed. How he felt for this woman changed, and he was trying to juggle this relationship, this connection. We got the king of swords in reverse, but... Something happened to make this man realize that this was not who he wanted to be with, okay? Something happened here. Clarify this King of Swords in reverse. Okay, it's another Gemini card. I feel like some, some something very ugly and nasty was said. Something very cutting was said. These people had... it. The, both of these people were in the King of Swords in reverse. We have the Ace of Cups. This Cancer was very hurt by this Emperor's words to her, okay? Because she had a lot of love for this Emperor. And, I mean, he cut her terribly. He wounded her. Whatever he said to her to let her know that he was no longer invested in their connection really cut her deeply, okay? And this is why she is taking this action against him now because it's like, how do you think, how dare you think you're going to go and make this Queen of Wands your Empress and leave me behind, okay, with this death energy and transform your life and build and bond with another? How dare you think that that's what's going to happen? That is the energy that this lover's cancer energy is in, okay? She is not with this man moving on at all and it's like she's trying to stop him from moving on i keep picking up on these women different energies going through all kind of drastic lengths to stop men from moving on to keep them from making a decision look at that two of swords with the judgment these women these karmics because that's what they are you know they on their last leg y'all that's just what it is this woman is catfishing this man, pretending to be a whole nother woman, this Queen of Wands Empress, just to stop him from moving on away from her. And honestly, it's not even to stop him from moving on away from her because he's already moved on away from her. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. He did not told this woman what it is. Look, we got Gemini again, Eight of Swords. She can't give it up. He has made his decision. He's balanced the scales when it comes to their connection. And he's let this woman know that he is done. And he was real nasty with it too. But she is still caught up in what she feels for him with this Ace of Cups. She is still caught up in what they had going. Okay? And she can't get past it. And even if he's not going to return to her, she would rather play this very dangerous game because if there's evidence that she's been pretending to be this woman, depending on what she said and done, 
you know, that's some sort of identity theft. I'm sure it's something, you know, she, I'm picking up on some heavy catfishing here, you know, making up fake profiles, saying and doing all kinds of things. It was just 10, 10 on the phone to entice this emperor. He's thinking that he's talking and carrying on with this queen of wands empress and he talking to his ex. And she has allowed her feelings for this man to spiritually imprison her because she gonna pay for what she doing, okay? This, it's not, I think she feel like she getting, getting over on him and he gonna be hurt and disappointed when he realizes this seven of swords energy that this Gemini, I'm telling you, queen of swords was in and she coming right up up under, she coming out right up under his king of swords in reverse as well, okay? She, you know, it's going to be, she going to have some repercussions, okay? Consequences and repercussions is going to be there for her as a result of what she's doing because this this is very bad, what she doing. It was 11-11 on the phone, okay? She is in some very devilish, toxic, destructive, chaotic behavior. She is really doing some old ill will ass shit. I keep picking up on it. This is like the third reading in the past few days where these women do not want to let it go, do not want to leave well al enough alone, and they're going through all kind of drastic lifts to hold on to these empress, to these divine masculines. These, some of these divine masculines, they don't want to be dragged down to hell with these karmics. A lot of these men have been waking up recently and they, they are done. And it's not because of anything that this queen of wands empress did. It's because of what these queen of swords, karmic devil, five of wands energy has been doing, at least in this reading. Okay. And, you know, for her to pretend to be this other woman, that's just crazy. That's just even more indication that he needs to block her out of his life, okay? Because she is really on some type of crazy war path that's only going to cause destruction for herself. Yes, this man is going to be disappointed when he realizes that he ain't been talking to this empress. Yes, she going to be satisfied in that moment that she was able to hurt him. But when he realized that it was really her, when he gets that truth and clarity about how even more deceitful she is, and when he realizes that, no, that ain't this empress, that means I got another chance to actually go find her for real and make it right. That's going to just make him reject that damn queen of swords even more, child. When he gets truth and clarity about, more truth and clarity about who she really is, he ain't going to want her even more. And the cancer energy is the four of cups. I'm telling you, this woman got cancer in her chart. This Gemini got heavy cancer in her chart as well. And she's going to be in the nine of wands when she realizes that this little catfishing scheme that she was up to did not make things better like i really don't get how she think this is going to make it better i don't think she feels like it's going to make it better i feel like she just thinks it's going to hurt him but it's not gonna hurt his connection with this empress clarify that holy spirit please and thank you i'm telling you this man gone he go it's a light at the end of the tunnel he go like oh well, at least I still have another shot to really make it right. 14, 14, 10 of wands. He going to continue to leave that situation behind with this queen of swords, cancer energy. She is still going to remain heartbroken because this man ain't going to do nothing but invest in another way to make contact with this empress. Yeah, you got him with those illusions before. Okay, she really got his ass. She had him on a path to false success. Okay, he really thought he was about to have 
a success with this empress. He is going to think. I'm telling you, these people are like geared up to meet. And it's going to be something like this cancer queen of swords is going to message this man and just tell him something crazy like, fuck you, I hate you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, it's going to be something like that that she's going to do to make this man feel like this Empress Queen of Wands doesn't want him. But that shit not going to pan out. I'm telling you, he is still going to continue his pursuit to become this Queen of Wands ideal counterpart. He's going to realize that he's been catfish. And I feel like he's going to find out that it was this chariot queen of swords energy who was coming at him with this wishful behavior, making him think that it was one thing when it was not. And he going to move on from that. You know, more Aries energy. This masculine definitely has Aries in his chart. And he, I'm talking about he ain't giving it up. He ain't giving up. He don't care what this, this queen of cups do. He do not care. This masculine is still going to continue to move forward because he has faith that him and this empress will be together in the future. No matter what, how persistent this queen of cups is in trying to stop these two people from being together. He's going to know and find out somehow that it was this queen of cups, queen of swords, who was catfishing him. Clarify that. Page of wands on the bottom. I'm telling you. He's going to find out that it was her who was catfishing him. Confirm, clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. We have the world. He's going to realize who was causing, trying to cause this change in this relationship, okay? But it's going to give him more, more fuel with this Saturn world energy you know saturn talks about moral obligations making things right this masculine does feel and he's determined to make things right with this empress what happened between this empress and this emperor holy spirit please and thank you we have the eight of cups but it didn't came out here in reverse child and then we got the king of cups on the bottom so, it looks like he was running away from his relationship with this empress to have some kind of connection with this queen of cups, um, queen of swords, y'all. Okay? He didn't want to face how he felt for this empress. So, he redirected his energy into this other woman. But you see how that turned out. Okay? And this is why he now wants to make amends with this empress this queen of wands because he realizes that this offer that he was making to this queen of swords queen of cups was based off of his inability to face his feelings for this queen of wands okay he realized that and this is also why i was getting that moral obligation type of energy okay because he, need, he knew he needed to do right by this empress. And I feel like he realized that even more because of things that were revealed about this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Cancer energy. Okay? He took some risks with her that, you know, I don't know how to say it, child. He took some risks with her that really made him realize that Anything he would have done with this empress was just a drop in a bucket compared to the hell and the shit he went through as a result of taking a risk with this queen of cups, queen of swords. The fool is on the bottom. I'm trying to tell you this man realized it's something about moral obligation. I'm telling you with this hyphen, he realized that he was morally obligated to make things right with this empress based upon his experience with this queen of swords queen of cups okay so yeah he's he's been catfish he's gonna find out but it's not going to stop his efforts to make a commitment to his divine counterpart and that's just period 
okay? Any final messages? Any final messages, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Anything else? We have justice and we have the King of Pentacles. This man is determined to share his life with this empress, okay? He is determined to become her counterpart and to have justice with her. He is going to balance the scales no matter what this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords has done. She finna be in a tower. The tower was the first card out. She's going to pay for what she did. What she's doing, she's going to pay for it, okay? And one of the ways she's going to pay for it is she's going to continue to watch this masculine pursue and have justice with this empress. No matter what she did to stop them, this woman is going to be in regret because this man is going to reconnect and balance things and offer love to this divine feminine, this empress here, okay? 2112. And I'm going to drop the mic on that. You know, she done went through all of this to try to stop this man from being with this woman only to watch him go be with her anyway because he ain't not stopping this emperor. I'm telling you, he it's like... It's set in stone. It's some type of decree that has been passed down to him. Really, I'm get, it's really given that God showed him who this empress truly was, and he got to make it right. It's a moral obligation that he cannot back away from. So, you know, he just going to learn a lesson about this damn DM and messaging bullshit because it's something. I'm going to get a deck to clarify that. It's something that this cancer Gemini energy was saying and doing that should have let this man know that he need to block her. That that's not who he was really talking to. Clarify that. That he need to cut the conversation. She she exposed herself because if he really paid attention to what she was saying and doing, he would know that this was not this empress. These two women ain't nothing alike, okay? They don't even talk alike. So this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, obviously has been watching this Empress, Queen of Wands, okay, trying to figure out how she talk, what she do, what she might say, okay, it's really giving obsession here with this Devil to the Five of Wands, to the Seven of Wands er, that came out earlier. So what is something that happened that's going to let this man know? That it was this Queen of Wands, Queen, excuse me, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords that he was really talking to. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the star. He about to get some truth and clarity. It's something she gonna say or do that's gonna expose herself. We have the Four of Cups and we have the Seven of Swords. I'm telling you now. She not even going to get to finish out her little scheme, which was to try to just blow up on him one day and say, I hate you. I don't ever want to talk to you again, yada, yada, yada. And she thought that was going to make him refuse or not even try to pursue this empress anymore. But it's something that she's going to say during her little scheme. We got the eight of wands communication. That's going to let him know who he really talking to. This Ace of Cups energy, this woman who really is obsessed with him and still in love with him and can't let him go. She going to say something that's going to expose who she really is and how she truly feels. Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because I was about to end the reading, but I picked up on that. And there it is. We have the Seven of Wands and the Hierophant. He's going to know. He got enough insight and intellect that it's going to be something this woman says that's going to let him know that he ain't talking to the true empress and he needs to block communication with this woman, okay? So I really feel like that's how it's going to pan out. And again, it's going to be disappointing, disappointing and disheartening for him to find out that he's been wasting time with, with a catfish 
This woman probably damn smell like catfish for me to even say that. But he's still going to push forward with this King of Swords. And he's going to connect with this woman the right way, get the truth to her somehow, and let her know that she is his ideal love choice and that he wants to take action with her and reconnect with his empress child. And I'm really going to stop, okay? I'm going to leave it there, okay? He going to find out the truth. The truth going to set him free. And the truth is also going to lead him in the right direction to reconnect with his ideal love choice and take action so that they can be together again. And we're going to end with the tower, the card we started with. It's going to be a tower, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, when this character, Gemini, find out that she could not stop these people from being together, it's going to be a major tower for her, a major blow. And I am going to end it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I will be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.